All right, hi friends golfers. My name is Eric Solberg with EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. So, did an intro video uh, a bit ago on what I call my four fundamentals of golf, okay? Um, you know, so the old fundamentals of golf were grip, stance, posture, alignment. Am I saying those don't apply? Absolutely not. What I am saying is that they're not fundamentals because I don't, a strong grip doesn't necessarily lead to drawing the ball or hooking the ball, okay? Um, you can look at many players on the tour. I, I'll use one example. Paul Azinger, I think, may have a stronger grip I've seen on it, for, like a four knuckle grip. What did he do? Fade the ball. See, now the tour is a little hard to look for drawers of the ball, but I've seen a lot of people with weak grips draw the ball, okay? So, how does that fundamental make sense? Let's talk about uh, position of our body alignment. So alignment, um, if we want to draw, we'd, we'd say, oh, we'd probably close our body off. What did Lee Trevino do? Wide open, he could play a draw. So to me, it's not a fundamental of golf if it doesn't apply, basically. Now, I, I'm not, those guys aren't anomalies. And I, you know, I'm a big, big believer in, and you know not making rules for anomalies like you know like you make anomalies you, you make rules and you come up with your philosophies based on you know what you see you don't you don't say oh wait 99 percent do it um well great I have this one anomaly throw it out okay that's not what we're saying that's not and that's not the case okay so if you go a little further my number one fundamental and so when I list these they're in order it's how I look at the golf lessons okay so when I'm looking at a golf lesson the first thing I'm looking at the fundamental is how we rotate how do we move what is our rotation what's our pelvis doing okay um, because this if we don't have an efficient and powerful uh, rotation we're never gonna be any good at golf why because then we're doing stuff with our hands we're doing stuff with our arms we're never going to be consistent, ever. We don't even have a chance. It's not even close. Okay, so that is number one that I look at. Um, you know, then we go to impact, and you, you watch the intro, and you can go through the other ones to look at it. But that's how I go through my lessons. I, I look at those four, and I work my way down. Now, you come see me for the first lesson. It doesn't mean, you know, no, Eric doesn't even look at grip. Eric doesn't even look at alignment. You know, so what I do is this. is So I see a new golfer golfers come to me. A lot with this kind of grip. In fact, I had one yesterday just like this, okay? I don't teach a ton of new golfers, but I do. Um, and they were like this. They're wondering, gosh, I just have this really short swing. You know, and she was saying her husband kept telling me to go, you know, just swing farther, far, farther. <laughs> and I couldn't do it. You, you physically can't. I mean, look at how your wrist goes. Like, she was maxed out. I can't go any farther. That's the biggest swing you're going to have, okay? So, um, I had to fix that. That was the first thing I fixed. So her wrist would hinge properly. So, you know, anatomically, we got to be moving. <laughs> Our body has to move correct. So not a moron. I haven't forgot about those things, right? So, um, you know, uh, alignment, do I look at it? Yes. If somebody's had hit us, you know, let's say a relatively straight shot, you know, and then they're, everything is, they're aimed this way one time, this way one time. Of course I'm fixing it. I want it to be a choice that they make for some reason to be, if they decide to, um, you know, that they want to be somebody who put lines open, you know, to the target, that that's what they do every time. You know, if they're going to be open, then we can't have a club two that comes back like this, you know, real flat. We got to follow kind of our body line, which is going to get, what's going to feel like the club is going to be. You know, it's going to feel like we're more, way more outside because our body's open. But so I hope that makes sense about how I still do look at those things and they still do matter to me, you know, as a golf coach. It's just putting it in perspective of what is the most important things that I see. So for me, so let's talk about rotation. Um, big, huge topic. Um, I'm looking for an efficient and powerful rotation. So what does that mean? It means this. It's, the reason I have this in here, I mean, I use it a lot for teaching, you know, either TRS or, you know, just an alignment stick in there. Most people won't do this because they'll, most people love to swing. It goes like this. They toss it so TRS is better so it don't hurt the ribs. I like practice this. It reminds me more if I do start to flip, okay? 
even I think uh, something that was like more of a cattle prod would probably help more. <laughs> so um, let's see. So I'm just going to leave this ball here. So we're going to get into posture, okay? I'm going to get my club up like this. I'm going to get, like I guess I'm in posture. And now I'm going to rotate back. Now, one of the reasons I saw you that I kept this in here is so I could see kind of where it's pointed. You know, for me, I'm out here, okay? Uh, you know, you, if we're in here, we're probably too much tilted, you know, so ball to here somewhere. I, it's, it's what I can physically do, okay? I can't, I can't really tilt down more than that, okay? So our move is tilt, and then we'll, I'll show you a little bit from the other way what we're going to do. We're going to get onto our left side, so the butt's kind of going back, and then we tilt back down. See the right shoulder's going low. Here's getting a little closer to the ground, and up, okay? Real simple view of our rotation there, what we're doing, okay? So let me try to show you from this angle without poking or hurting the TV. Let me put this a little further in. There we go. And by the way, if you'd want to do something like this with just a regular alignment stick, will it ruin your grip? I mean, some of the really hard ones that will, but not if you use some a rubber one like this. But you know, I have an extra club that I use for. Uh, I just keep that in there because I use it a lot for a lot of things. Okay, so here we go. Let me, let, me, let me straighten this out too. Feedback, using feedback. So I have a cam uh, well, obviously a camera right there, but behind what you can't see is a mirror. I have another mirror right here, okay? So you can see a lot of videos of mine when I talk about feedback, okay? You can watch podcasts I've done where I talk about if you're not using some, for some form of feedback, you're just exercising. Um, why is that? Because if I'm not using feedback, let's say I'm gonna work on my rotation, okay? I'm gonna work on my rotation. I know I wanna keep my head right here, okay, right? How do I do? I don't know, how do I know? I don't, <laughs> I don't have any form of feedback. Now, think about it, right? I, I'm a professional golfer, I played when I was younger, you know, I don't anymore, I'm a professional teacher, <laughs> but, um, I, you know, I, I'm different, I, I know that's wrong, but still, when I practice, do I use a mirror? Yes, because, I want to have something down the middle so I know my head, for me, I don't want my head moving off of it. And most golfers, I don't want their head moving off the middle. I want them just to rotate their spine around it. And I would have two lines right here on their hips, okay? So, and like I do in the mirror, I have it marked. So I had my wife do it because it's hard to put them on your hips. So I'll line my head up and I'll get my hips right in this line on the TV right here, okay? So when I rotate, now, I may come a tad bit off this line here on the back when I finally get around. It may be a tad off, but I'm not over here. And I'm not outside it. And I'm also putting pressure onto the inside of my trail heel. And I want to, I want to really explain this, okay? Because when I say trail heel a lot, you know, people think it's right here, very back. Trail heel would be, you, you got your shoelaces where you tie them. It would basically be, you know, down about right straight about here. Okay, on the inside is that you're pushing into. You're not pushing into back here, about right here. Okay, where you tie, think of it about where you tie your shoe. Okay, okay, so, and you know, in, in this video, I'm gonna cover uh, as much as I can, but I'm not gonna make it an hour long, which it could easily be. I've done a ton of other videos that would cover other parts of this, but I'm hopefully gonna hit the main points and stress the importance of this to you so you can see how this is so important to help you. And I'm going to probably, as I do, I'm going to jump around a lot because it's what I do. I love teaching. I love coaching. I love learning about golf. I will say this, okay? And not only has this been proven through testing, um, this is what I see for the students that do well with me, okay? Um, I urge every single student that I have that does not do well with their rotation, okay? to do this daily, 10 to 15 minutes a day, I say. Now, if you can't do it 10 to 15 minutes a day, and let's say you travel for a bit, whatever, you come home, you're really tired from work, you you wanna go straight to bed, okay? Well, when you're brushing your teeth or if you wash your face before you go to bed, whatever you do, just stand in front of the mirror, you know, set the club down and go like this in front of the mirror. You know, get, get in, you know, 10 of them. Get onto my left side. Now, when you see this, another look here, if you notice, 
I have my toe pointed at a certain angle. Look how my knee, this one's in kind of line with it. Look how my hip angle is down. It's not immediately up. Look how my shoulder is down. Everything's down before I go. Everything starts going up and then I extend, get some extension back. Extension is good. What's not good? Early extension, where you thrust towards the ball like that early. And it's, it's called early extension, right? Um, you know, another way, uh, I'll just show you this, how to test on your, way your, on your back is the, um, I just grab this extension. So back to how we learn really quick. Um, 15 minutes a day, 10 to 15 minutes a day, it, it, this needs to be done to learn it and you will become a professional at it. Here's the other thing is, try to find a professional that doesn't look good with their rotation. You won't find it, okay? Try to find a golfer that you think is any good um, and see if they're, what their rotation looks like. And don't go judge yourself because they're a two, three, four handicap. You know, like, that doesn't necessarily mean they're a good golfer, okay? A good golfer, they could have a great short game and be terrible at their, you know, full swing. They play all the time. They figure out how, how to score. Scoring is an art, folks, okay? Scoring is an art. You can score very well and learn to manage to get around not hitting the ball great. And if you go, if you see how the tour guys hit it, it's a whole different story than probably anybody you've ever seen hit the ball. It sounds different. So just because somebody tells you they're too handicapped doesn't mean they're close to the tour guys. They're very, very far off, okay? Um, so I, I would tell you this. If your friend is really good at golf, I would still say this. Watch the tour guys, okay? Not your friend, unless he's just an expert at this, okay? So I can put this, you can put this in a basket, however you want to get it out there. Um, this one, so here's, here's the thing. There's two options you have, okay? For those of you that do this drill and have real trouble your hips going this way, okay? You have another option. This is not working that great for me. I'm gonna put like this behind me because of this. It's bent, my, my alignment sticks a little bent here, but there we go. Um, I'll get it right, folks, hold on. So let's say this, okay? You, you really struggle with going back and your hips really struggle going forward, okay? This is what I call basically the bumping method, okay? So you'll take it back and a lot of tour guys do this. I don't teach it to a ton of people because to me this takes practice and more timing in the golf swing. I, I would prefer most golfers just turn, rotate, okay? Um, but most golfers on a tour will, those, those, you'll see their pelvis move uh, about an inch this way. So we'll start the swing by going, and then the turn happens, okay? So feel what is better for you. And, and what I told you, what I, what I do find for those golfers that really struggle with going forward, what will really help them is to feel like you get this, the pelvis so the pelvis slides and then we turn, okay? So we get this movement, initial slide from, we'll go front, forward, turn, and then, okay? So move back that inch, inch and a half, and then you turn. And the key is this, by the time you get to the top, if we go like this, you are recentered back over the top, okay? Right where you started. That's why you wanna look in a mirror. If you come out here a little bit, by the time you get to the top, look where I'm at, okay? Right back to where I, right where I started, okay? Okay, so let's get into a little bit more, and I have a lot of uh, videos of this on um, online uh, at YouTube and other other places. Um, what is our pelvis doing? Okay, this is this is where most people go wrong on the pelvis movement. Okay, so our pelvis is moving. When we go back, we're shifting. It's kind of going back a little bit this way. But this is what's interesting: is we go like this in the golf swing. Watch my pelvis here. I turn. Before I finish my backswing, this pelvis is going back towards the target, okay? What we see in most amateurs is they turn, the pelvis going this way, and then it goes out. They go out this way. That's what most people do, okay? They've heard they got to get their hips going, so they go out like this. The pelvis, before we're done with the backswing even, see I'm turning, turning. I should be fully loaded on our back foot now, and then the pelvis is starting to go towards the target, and we go like that. So what I showed you earlier is how we break it down to practice, okay? We will turn to the top, we'll bump and go. But in all reality, this is what happens. We get to about here, and this is where the pros are done loading on this backside. 
loading pressure. You notice it's not mass like most people do. They move their mass back here. I'm loading pressure into my trail heel right here. But before I'm done with my backswing, notice how I start to go towards the target. So what I'm doing here is just putting this into pieces one. So just so you can feel this at first, okay? But in the future, you're gonna be, before you finish your backswing, when you're about here, the pelvis is starting to go towards the target and that's your, how you move, okay? Um, many different ways to feel it. This is called a, a sheftic uh, board here. So what this is so good at here is, is that moving, teeter-tottering? Okay, so I would start on my front side, load it here, I click it to the back, and before I'm done with my backswing, I get to the front and go. So watch this, I'm on the front of it. Boom. We start front, click back. Hope you notice that before I got done with my backswing, I'd already clicked into the front. So clicking my front side down, what's that doing when I click front side down? It gets the pelvis going back towards the target. We don't continually load the whole time back, okay? It's the exact same thing as if, what am I doing when I throw a ball? Well, that's my pelvis. Whoop, and look at my arm, going back. Two different movements, right? One's going towards the target as the arm is going back. So if you are one of those that wants lag, right? This is how most people try to get lag, they go like this. And what do they do when they do that? They just get this huge cup, the club faces, look at this, wide open when they come in, and they wonder why everything just gets blown way right. You want true lag, learn how to move your body like this, and you'll have massive amounts of lag, more than you, you, know, more than you know what to do with. Look at that. How would you like to be in this position? Right here, to go like that. How would you like that? Right, boom. That's what you can do when you learn to move your body correct. You're never gonna do it if you just say, you know what, I'm gonna use my arms and hands to get in these great positions and do it. It doesn't work without the body, okay? So another thing I hear all the time is, oh, I gotta get my left arm straight. I gotta get my left arm straight in the golf swing, okay? So, you know, I'll see this typically. Um, can't get the left arm straight, they go like this. So why can't they get their left arm straight? There's no body turn. I mean, it's easy to keep your left arm straight, but if I stop my body right here, I have to hit, get some momentum going. So what, what is somebody gonna do? They're gonna lift their club up, break all their arms down, and guess what they're at here? Because there's no body, body turn. I mean, if I turn, <laughs> look at that. I just, arms are out here. This arm should, you know, like never go past basically 90 degrees there. Um, but it's all, anytime you say that person left arm, but so what they end up doing with the left arm is they drag a club back here. They're like back here now because they're like, got to keep that arm straight. <laughs> so uh, other videos I have on how, where the arm should really be at. Try turning and you should probably be about right here. That should be your full swing. Okay. Where this goes, bend over, turn. There's your full swing. Okay. So left arm straight is pretty easy to do if you just rotate your body. Okay. Most people need to work on this arm because they're like this, broken down arm right next to their hand, right next to their ear or right here on their shoulder thinking they got this really long swing when their body's turned this far. So what it's again, what is the problem with those that I just said? Rotation, they never rotate correctly. So this is a really in-depth topic. I got to parts of it. Um, I have lots of drills on my website um, and you know, like other, all the social media um, places. So. If we just think of another drill, if I just show you one more that'll help you uh, what, of what we're trying to feel, this, it's a step drill. So we're just gonna start like this. So what did I do? I put the club in front of me. When I start, I start stepping forward as the club goes back. So when I'm stepping forward with this club going back, I'm falling forward. I don't like step and stay back, so I'm like this. I step forward as the club's going back, and you see what happened? Look how I'm loaded. Pelvis is right over the, over the thorax, basically. I'm loaded like this. I'm not like this, okay? So the club's going back, and I fall forward like that, okay? So there's another drill to get the feeling of what our body's doing in the rotation, but to me, the number one drill you can do is rotational drill, okay? 
to feel what we are trying to do. Do a couple rotational drills, then grab a club and try to mimic it and do it again, do it again, watch a video, watch me doing it, watch somebody else doing it, and then just keep moving from there. But make the rotational drill your number one priority, and I promise good golf will follow. You have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment uh, or leave a question in the comment section or leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. Um, my name is Eric Schulberg, uh, EJSGolf, EJSGolf.com. Thank you for watching and take care.